the incidence of the condition of hyperhidrosis actually depends on the nationality or the race that you're uh, associated with because it varies from being a very low percentage of point, uh, well, less than 1%, 0.05 or point, uh, 0.1 or so. And it could be as high as 5, 10, maybe even 15%. Uh, for instance, in the Oriental population, the incidence of certain areas of the body affected by hyperhidrosis is much higher. Uh, but I do see patients with hyperhidrosis from all sorts of nationalities. Um, but again, the incidence is different depending on what race uh, you're from. For instance, in, here in the United States, where we're a mixture of many different races from around the world, the overall incidence of the condition of hyperhidrosis is somewhere in the neighborhood of 0.5 to 1% of the population. Again, the condition of hyperhidrosis, if you can think of it this way, is where the control center in the brain, which is in the hypothalamus, the threshold for triggering or sending out the signal to cause the sweating to occur. That threshold, either because of, uh, of a genetic predisposition or through some environmental uh, experiences that the patient's been through, either medications or, or heat or whatever, where that threshold, say it's here, is a normal threshold for once that threshold is reached, the trigger occurs, the signal is sent out to the sweat glands caught to cause the sweating, but that threshold is lowered. So it's easier to achieve, or more commonly achieved, uh, or reached to where the signal is sent out to trigger the excessive sweating. But another component to the hyperhidrosis too that I see commonly is that not only is the threshold lowered, but even a mild stimulus or trigger that would trigger, say, mild sweating in most people. People that are afflicted with hyperhidrosis, it seems like it's an all or none phenomenon where it's just like significant or severe, just pouring from the palms or from the face or forehead. So that's another component of, patient, of the condition of hyperhidrosis.